Hello everyone. Welcome to v360.ai. v360 aims to enhance the global productivity using technology. In this journey, our feature will help you to achieve the desired goal. So let us dive into the product and see how the analytic works. v360.ai comes in two interfaces. One is the admin portal and other is the Myzen application. The admin portal will be handed over to the company personnel who will be tracking the employees and the Myzen application will be installed in all the employees computers depending on their operating system. Whenever the employee is about to start the work, they will simply click on this punch in button and the tracking will be started and whatever the employee's work done will be displayed in this manner and now coming to the admin side we have several segments in the left side panel and starting with the dashboard dashboard shows all the basic and the major features we provide as soon as the employee punches in the attendance will be recorded all the employee who are punched in will be marked as present all the employee who are not punched in will be marked as absent and if anybody has applied for the leave and the leave has been approved by the respective manager or the respective admin they will be counted under the leave section our next feature is the activity tracking so based on the employee doing mouse click mouse movement in key presses the activity of that employee will be recorded so if i simply hover on this graph so on 14 12 on 14 december uh, the complete organization's employees were 63 percent active so suppose in a nine hours of working time employee are active on their system for 7 hours 30 minutes and the rest of the time they were idle they might be taking a break they might be take, doing something but they are not on the system our third feature is the application tracking in this all the apps being used by your employee along with the urls are displayed here so just to take a look the chrome is being collectively used for 66 hours in a single day and uh, S office v360 all the application being browsed by your employee even for a second will be tracked in this section our next feature is this snapshot our systems takes a snapshot in every five minutes of time and uh, in the dashboard there will be random snapshot displayed from the employee system but uh, we have a separate section for a snapshot which will uh, give you the snapshot in every five minutes so in a one hour of a span there will be 12 snapshot available from the employee system in terms of snapshot, only the active screen of the employee is being captured. Whatever running in the background, it's not captured in any manner. Our next feature is the product, project and task management. Here, the admin can create a project. Project will be assigned with the project manager. The project manager and the admin can create multiple tasks under that project and the task can be assigned to a single employee, to multiple employee or to a complete team. Now, whatever task assigned to the employee will be displayed in their Myzen application and whenever they are about to work on that task, they will simply click on this play button and the internal timer for that task will be recorded. And once the work is done, they will come back to Myzen application, click on this stop button and the activity for that day on the duration will be recorded. The same can be seen in the admin dashboard. Now, we provide several kinds of reports and top three and uh, bottom three users based on the activity is one of the example of that. So based on the activity like Bhuneshwar, Saurabh and Arnav Gupta was 100% active. On the other hand, Shubham, Mayank and Vipin Sharma was least active for this particular date range. You can change the date range and the reports will be updated accordingly. So that is it from the dashboard side. Dashboard only shows the basic features and the basic working of your organization but in the, when we dive into the rest of the feature you will get every single second's knowledge of your employee working pattern one of our feature is live streaming which shows on real time what your employees are browsing so suppose animesh pandey is on v360 workforce analytics Anuprat system was locked for the last two minutes. Archana is uh, inactive for the last two minutes. And if I click on this live screenshot button, so a live screenshot from the uh, from the employee system will be captured. So in real time, Animesh Pandey has been browsing API token in app.v360.ai, and the same is being displayed here. Now we have just seen Animesh Pandey has switched to the Myzen application.
So all the users in onboarded in this V360 account, if they are live and if they are punched in, will be displayed here. Now, there are some segments in which uh, the live stream can hamper because it's a desktop application and it depends on the working of the desktop. So if somehow the uh, live streaming is not working, if somehow you are not able to see the users who are punched in but not in live stream, there is a simple check that you can go to the employee system and check whether the time zone and the region is in a proper sync or not. For example, if the employee system has been set for IST time zone, then the region must be India only. So if the, this is a simple troubleshooting if the live streaming is not working for a particular user. Else, it's a de by default setting uh, for all the users, it definitely works. But if there is some uh, discrepancy, then time zone and the region needs to be in a proper sync. Now coming to the attendance, as we have covered in dashboard that all the people who are punched in will be marked as present and all the people who are not, not punched in will be marked as absent. So attendance section has two basic two interfaces. One is the basic and one is the advanced. Basic interface simply shows on today's date how many people are punched in and how many people are not punched in. Now if we go to the advanced interface it will show a good amount of analytics that will be helpful in terms of HR or uh, in terms of the people who are making salaries. So suppose, uh, for example, total 20 days occurred in December, 14 days Vipin Sharma was present, 6 days he was absent. Average working hours, that means in this 14 days, average working hours of Vipin Sharma was 7 hours, 14 minutes. Break, he hasn't taken any, half day he has taken one. Attendance percentage is 70 depending on the total number of days and total number of days he has present. And if you scroll as aside, so on which day he is present and what is the duration of function. Duration of function means the simple time between the first function of the day and the last function. Our next feature is Wellness 360. It depends on a graph that can be set by the admin. You can define the overworked employees, the healthy employees and the underutilized employee based on the working hours. So first you need to set a timeline that is available in the account settings. So here 0 to 6 hours are considered as underutilized, 6 to 9 hours are considered as healthy and 9 to 10 hours can be considered as overworked. Depending on your working condition you can set it accordingly and the reports will be updated in real time. Now coming back to Wellness 360, here let us take example of Vipin Sharma. Vipin Sharma in December month has been present for 15 days. Healthy days he has been 6 like Vipin Sharma for in total 15 days for 6 days Vipin Sharma has been working under 6 to 9 hours. Overworked he hasn't done any and underutilized he has for 9 days. And based on this color coded representation on which day Vipin Sharma was underutilized, on which day Vipin Sharma was under healthy working hours and on which day Vipin Sharma was overworked. So these are the analytics shown. So just take an example of a company where you find that there are particular departments in which people are underutilized or people are overworked. So let us take an example if customer success department most of the people are in healthy working condition that indicates that the work assigned to the team and the number of member in the team are in a complete sync. But on the other hand, if I check the data for marketing team. So on a vast range, they are going uh, overworked. So this means that some new hirings can be done in this team and if you check out for any other department in which people are going underutilized all the time so that indicates that you should give some new projects and you should give some new tasks to that department in order to get the good amount of results so wellness will provide you the data if the department needs some new projects or if the department needs some new hirings if the if there are some people who can be shifted from one department to other department so this is it from the wellness 360 side. Let us move into the next feature. Our next feature is timeline in which different color shows the different activity level from the employees. Here green color represents 76 to 100%, 51 to 75 is blue, 26 to 50 is yellow and 0 to 25 is red. So if we take a look for 19th December, Aditya has punched in, Aditya has started working for around 9, 9.41 am and his system was off, his system was non-operational that is why there is a white gap. 
Now he came back on the system at 11.34, it started working rigorously and uh, after that around for 1 p.m. he has taken a break, uh, after that he has come back from the break at uh, 1 hour 56 minutes. Now he has worked rigorously and at the end of the day his activity was low. So in this manner you can have a look of how your employees are working throughout the day and if you click on any of the styles, so the screenshot of that particular moment will open. A screenshot will tell what is the active screen on this particular time and what are the application being browsed in this five minutes of duration. Productivity is the major agenda of our product. We believe in enhancing global productivity using technology. Here, productivity report shows what is the working time of your employees, how much time they have spent on unproductive application, how much time they have spent on productive application and you can download the reports accordingly. If we take a look in the productivity tab, so working time defines the on-screen time of the employee. That means after punch-in, all the time when the screen is on is considered under working time. Offline time, like suppose after punch-in, you left the system and your screen goes on lock app or it goes on sleep mode, power saving mode or even shut down. So that is considered under offline time. Idle time is under your punch-in hours, if you are not making any mouse click mouse movement and key presses, that is considered under idle time. Now coming to the bifurcation of productive, unproductive and neutral time. This can be defined by the admin. Just for an example, Google Sheet is defined as a productive for the organization and Facebook is defined unproductive for the organization. Then if Mayang Dhiman is using Google Sheet, then it will be counted under productive hours. If Mayang Dhiman is using Facebook, then it will be counted under unproductive hours. Also, if there are some applications which are not mapped either under productive or under unproductive, that automatically goes in the neutral time. Now, there are several segments in which the admin needs to take a look on. Very first thing, in order to get the productivity mapping, you should need to first map the productive and unproductive application based on the department. We have some predefined labels available. You can map the application under a particular label just for an example google meet can be marked under the meeting label zoom can be marked under meeting label anydesk can be marked under analytics label and uh, search app is news and research microsoft photos can be marked under photos so once you complete all the mapping from the v360 productivity mapping section you will be able to mark this complete label uh, as productive or unproductive for a particular department. So just for an example, using analytics tool like Google Sheet, Microsoft Excel and so on is productive for a customer success team, but it can be unproductive for a technology team. So in this manner, you will be able to mark the productive and unproductive application under a particular label for a department. So on the other hand, like using developers tool like GitHub or some other tools, so the, uh, GitHub, using GitHub can be productive for a developer department, but on the other hand, uh, using developer tools can be unproductive for a customer success department. Once you complete this productivity mapping, you will be able to get this productivity report. One good thing, whatever changes you make in this particular section, suppose if you change a label or suppose if you change the label as productive or unproductive for any of the department, in real time, this productivity report will be updated according to that. So when you start using our product, you will find that uh, people will say, okay, this is productive for me, but it is marked unproductive or something. So you can change those settings and the productivity report will be updated in real time. You can download this report and consult your employees according to that. Now sharing a use case, suppose how productivity mapping thing or a productivity report can be useful for your organization. So just for an example, you are paying your employees a amount of salary for working nine hours in your company. Employees completing the nine hours, but only spending four hours in the productive application and the rest of the time are unproductive or neutral application. You are paying the complete money for nine hours, but your work is done for only four hours. Suppose if you even increase it up to two hours more and your employee started using the productive application for six hours, then it is a definite thing that you will get some result more than expected. Now coming to the activity reports, as same as productivity, activity does not include the application or URL being browsed. It only includes the active time. If the users are making mouse click mouse movement in key press, they will be considered as active. If they are not, they will be considered as idle. 
and if the system is not on the offline time will be updated and working time remains the same is between the punch in and punch out hour when all the time is screen is on will be considered as working time now come into the snapshot section as we see aditya nagori's all the snapshots are seen no screenshot visible so this is a feature in which you can disable the snapshot of particular employees who are not comfortable in taking this snapshot or we have take, come up taken it up to the admin that whether they want to take the screenshot of the employees or not so aditya nagori's snapshots are disabled that is why it is seen in this manner on the other hand animesh pandey's screenshots are enabled so what they are doing in the complete time frame you will be able to see it what is the duration of the snapshot captured what they are doing you can simply click on this next next button and the snapshot will be updated all the time so for even for a second as we see v360 gladiators chat group animesh sir has used it for 2 seconds so it will be updated for 2 seconds so every single seconds of employee working time is getting captured with our tool now coming to the application section what all app being used by your employees in the collective manner will be displayed here like chrome is been collectively used for 66 hours v360 application is been used for 15 hours firefox has been used for 8 hours 28 minutes now what people are browsing under chrome what people are browsing under firefox it will be shown in the url section so mail.google.com is categorized under email it is it is being collectively used for 16 hours this particular application section shows the application and url being used by your complete team but we have the other analytics other section available in which for a single user what all apps or urls they are being browsing can be seen now coming to the task and projects so this is not as advanced as the other task and project management feature because our agenda is to be under the tracking and the analytics part but a basic feature suppose a task has been a project has been created there will be several tasks under that project if the task once the task start marking as completed the project status will go up and if you simply click on the task you will be able to see what all the activities are being done on the task based on a different different date range what all task has been assigned to your employees and whenever they work on your task a time sheet will be automatically updated so if we takes animesh pandey's timeline so on 19th december he has worked on the several tasks and what are the project under the task is assigned what is the start time end time and what is the complete duration they have spent to work on that task this report can be downloaded so the time sheets will be updated automatically whenever the employee will work on the task as the employee animesh pandey will also be able to see this detail and it is it will be automatically updated on the admin side now coming to the leave so we provide a basic leave management feature where the employee can apply the leave and the admin or their respective managers can approve or reject it accordingly so all the approval pending leaves will be shown in this section and if you check for the leaves based on a particular date range will be seen on this section and you can download the reports you can merge it this report with the attendance report and generate salaries accordingly <coughs> now coming to the report section so we have provided multiple kinds of reports based on the multiple agendas so productivity and activity reports is the major part of our tool and it can be downloaded directly from their respective section and apart from that we have a separate report section where monthly attendance monthly in and out daily attendance report application report graphical reports can be downloaded let us start with monthly attendance report in this report all the employees onboarded in b360 account will be shown on every date how much time duration they have been punched in can be shown at the end of the report you will get to see the total present days total absent days and total on leave days and based on the monthly date filter you will be able to download this report in the csv file next is monthly in and out report so as for its name it shows on particular date what is the in time and what is the out time of your employees if they have missed to punch in they will be crossed out and at the end same as the monthly attendance report you will get the total number of days present absent and on leave daily attendance report has several features that you can define the shifts your shift starting time your shift end time 
the punching time will be recorded based on the punch in from the Myzen application of the employee if they are delaying the punch in if they are punching in late if they are punching in early all will be recorded you can also set the working hours of your company so suppose if the working hours is set for nine hours and employees are not able to complete that they will be automatically marked as short time if they are completing the time they will be automatically marked as full time For yesterday, Anupraj has completed the time, but on the other hand, Animesh Pandey has missed to complete the time. That, that is why they are marked as short time and full time accordingly. Next is the application report. Same as the application section, you will be able to get the report for all the application being used in your organization. Graphical reports is what all reports we have seen within the tool. Only the static sticks can be downloaded but suppose if you want this graphical representation to be exported as jpeg file or pdf file this can be done from this particular section you can get the activity report for a particular date range or you can get the presence absent count for the particular date range next is the manager team insight so in our tool we have a manager hierarchy available in which you can assign teammates under a particular manager and the manager will also be handed over to a v360 manager portal where they will be able to see only their teammates data not of any others so arnav gupta is one of the manager and they have been assigned under multiple teams so what are arnav gupta's teams present absent count what is the activity level on the particular date what are the top active users based on the their working time and activity percentage can be seen in this section Next is the department side. So as same as the manager hierarchy, you can set a department for your users. So for marketing department, there are total th three users present, three users absent. For today, their activity is 66% till now and their uh, highly active users for Lokesh, Saurabh and Aditya. So in the dynamic report, we have provided all the headers available in V360. You can simply select these headers in multiple section if you want a summary report so summary suppose for one week you want the activity report so summary will give you a cumulative working hours of uh, all your employees and if you want detailed report then detailed report will give you the bifurcation of single single day for a complete week for all your employees next is the settings section so when you will opt for our tool this will be completely blank because you haven't started yet so in order to start, you need to uh, make some settings, accounts and billing. So when you start our tool, you need to set up the screenshot frequency. If you want it in 5 minutes, if you want it in 10 minutes, if you want it in 15 or 20 minutes, that depends on you. You need to put the user login time that is for dynamic report. So all the people who are completing 9 hours will be marked as full time. And if the people are missing to complete the 9 hours will be marked as short time. Next, you need to set the threshold. So we have a feature where the employee will be punched out from the application automatically if they are idle for several times. So suppose if you are idle for one hour, then you will receive a notification on your system that are you still working or not. If the employee responds to that pop-up within the next five minutes, then the tracking will be continued. If they do not respond to that pop-up, they will be punched out from the application and a message will remain on their screen that you were inactive. Next setting is for the idle threshold. There is something in the IT companies what we call as a compulsory idle time because the employee cannot be making mouse click mouse movement and key press all the time in every single second. So you can set a idle time recorder where if it is set for 120 seconds, so till 120 seconds, our system will not count the employee is idle. But after 120 seconds, the idle time counting will start. Next is the auto punch out setting that is available for the employees who misses to punch out. So after nine hours, they will be punched out. But as for the threshold, in case of threshold punch out, the employee will be notified before punching out. In case of auto punch out from the first punch in of the day, after nine hours, the employee will be punched out automatically without any notification. Starting with the user login time, threshold and auto punch out, all this time are configurable according to your needs even though if you do not want this feature to work you can simply disable this feature lastly in order to get the wellness 360 report you need to first set the timeline 
for according to your needs this gray color represent underutilized green color represent healthy working hours and red color represent the overworked employees our next setting is leave type so in order to give you the leave you need to define the leaves for your organization suppose maternity paternity leaves casual leaves medical leaves are available for your employees and what all leaves which are active in this section the same will be reflected in the mizen application of your employees there is an option to take a leave employee will click on this plus icon apply for select the leave type select the date range and apply for the leave once they apply they will be the admin will be able to see in the leave section of the admin panel and they can approve or reject the leave whatever the status of the leave will be updated automatically in the mizen application of the employee next is the department so before starting our tool you creating the department is the most mandatory thing so first you define the department suppose there are marketing department seafood department and so on working in your organization so it's just a matter of nomenclature you simply create a department and it will be added in the list immediately once you create a department while adding the users you will find an option to select a department of the particular user it is a mandatory field and a user cannot be imported in v360 without adding the department next is the breaks if you want to provide the breaks all you need to do is just to name the break here and whatever names are added in this section the same will be displayed in the v360 panel of employee side next is the productivity mapping which we have covered in the productivity tab section in order to get the productivity report you need to define the unproductive productive and neutral application under a particular label just for an example google sheet is productive so google sheet can be moved under analytics label and analytics label can be marked as productive for the department which is actually productive and for the department google sheets or analytics tool are unproductive you can mark them as unproductive this will bifurcate in the report so itself now coming to the user management in order to use v360 this is the most important section because the very first step is you will create the department from the settings and now you need to import your user using this add new user button there are two ways of importing the user first is you can manually fill this form and add the users and other is you can import the user in a single go by down by filling up the sample csv file so you can download our sample file and in this manner email username password first name last name phone number and screenshot you can import it you can fill the sheet you can import it here validate it first and then import all the users in a single go just in order to check this particular status is define aditya nagore's username aditya nagore's registered username registered email address the role of the user the last active time a screenshot what department they belong to what manager they report to what is the application so in terms of application myzen application is considered under desktop mode and we also have a stealth tracker so a stealth tracker does not have any physical interface on the employee and whenever the employee switches on the system they will be considered as punched in and the tracking will be started and when the employee switches off the system they will be considered as punched out and their tracking will be stopped now in case of desktop application the this username is the most important thing because this is being used by your employee in order to log in from the myzen application when you create the user an automated email notification is sent to user by the domain of v360 that contains the username password and the link to download the myzen application depending on their particular operating system this user management section has one more tendency that in all the left side panel section we have seen the working of overall organization but suppose if you want to see the working of an individual employee you can come to this user management section click on the employee name and just for aditya nagori you will be able to see their activity their snapshot their only application usage like what all apps or urls being browsed by aditya nagori within a particular date range if they are working on a task then the time sheet will be automatically updated what all task are being assigned to the employee what is the punch in time punch out time 
on daily basis what is the duration of the punch in punch out if they have applied for the leave and if you want to check anything or if you want to edit anything in the profile of the employee you can do it from this section next is the team management so team management is basically linked with the task management feature as we told in the other section the task can be assigned to a single employee to multiple employee or to a complete team so in order to assign a task to a complete team you need to first create a team and while creating the task you will get this team's name and the team owner name and you can assign that task to this particular team now coming to the shift management feature you can define the shift just for an example morning shift and evening shift at creating the shift you need to enter the name what is the start time of the shift what is the end time of the shift and what is the grace period you want to give suppose you set the start time of the shift as 9 am in the morning and given a grace period for 15 minutes so people who are punched in after 9:15 pm they will be considered as delayed punched in and if somebody is punching in before 9 am then they will be considered as early punched in and the both the things will be reflected in our daily attendance report which we have seen in the other section lastly the api token v360 provides open api based on the client's account you can use this api to integrate our v360 application with other saas platform currently the attendance api is available so you can explore the api section provide it to your tech team and you will be able to easily integrate v360 app with your other saas too so this is it from the admin side i hope you like the product and you will be able to contact us through raising a ticket or through raising a chat and our support team will be available to help you immediately thank you